Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. Today we are going to see how to get lots of flowers on Exora plants the most easiest way. For this there are many things to be considered and here in this video I will do my best to provide you all the info. So let's get started. Here is one of my Exora plant which did quite well in last year. Actually there are three plants together, not just one. So if you like, obviously you can grow more plants together. There are two things I am going to do. First one is hard pruning of both branches and the roots. On second, I would report my plant. Pruning is really very simple. We can cut slightly above a node. I am from tropical country and Ixora grows quite fast in my place. So you can do the hard pruning without owing anything. I know that you may not like to prune the roots of your plant. But in my case, you can see that the plant is quite root bound. So if we prune few roots and remove the old soil, the plant is going to produce new roots much faster. Please note that it was the beginning of April when I did all these things. We can start doing all this from March to April onwards. Let's report the plant and then add few important components. For the fresh potting soil mix, I am taking 40% normal garden soil, 40% vermicompost and rest 30% cocoa peat. For the pot, using a 16 inch deeper and 16 inch wider pot. Now here are a few very important things that we should consider. Number one, see if your plant is very new, something like this, then please avoid using 16 inch pot directly. Instead, you can use 8 to 10 inch pot. Number two, if you are growing a drop variety, then also please avoid using 16 inch pot. Even though your plant is old one, please avoid using huge pots for the drop variety. In case you are going to use a huge pot for the drop variety, they may not bloom well in the first year. For example, here are two of my drop variety plants and here you can see that they were blooming nicely. At that time they were in 18 spot and this footage is from 2020. did quite well in 2021 and these are the same two plants. In fact, this year too I am keeping them in same 18 spot. Did soft pruning and other important things which you are going to see next. We should avoid hard pruning the dwarf Ixora plant. It's because they grow quite slowly. Please note the size of the leaves of this variety is smaller than most of the other varieties and usually this variety don't bloom non-stop. Once they bloom heavily, they take a gap to bloom again. Alright, let's add the components now. The first component is 2 teaspoons of hemospi. Basically, it's going to help the plant to produce better root system. It's not like that you must have to use this. It's not, but if you use, you would get good result. It's available on Amazon. We can use Vemospi once in 3 to 4 months, but I usually use only once while reporting. Adding soil on top and pressing the soil very lightly. Next, we need to water and here I am going to add the second component. The second component is humic acid. Mixing 20 ml of humic acid in 5 liter water. The capacity of my water can is 5 liter and just after repotting, I prefer to use water can. Or else, if we use mug or anything like that, the force of water troubles the soil very badly. There is also no need to use humic acid too frequently. Using 1 to 2 times per year is okay. Alright, applied almost 4 liters of water. 
means I have applied 16 ml humic acid in a 16 inch pot. This is an update after 20 days and we can already see new growth. Just after reporting, I kept the plant in shady area for next 2 to 3 days. After that, I have shifted to this place and now it's getting whole day of sunlight. For more flowers, more sunlight is essential. But if it's not possible for you, then please try to provide at least 4 to 5 hours of direct sunlight. Basically, these are the things I do every year. Now, let's see what else we need to know. How often we should fertilize our plants? Applying once in 30 to 40 days would be enough. For one 8 to 10 inch pot, we can apply 25 grams mustard cake powder and 25 grams bone meal. Instead of bone meal, you can also use rock phosphate and it's available on Amazon. Please note that it's very important to remove the surrounding soil while using mustard cake powder and bone meal or else you may find fungus on your plant. Instead of that, we can also use NPK 191919. For this, you can take half teaspoon in 1 liter water and try to apply once in 20 to 25 days. For watering, please keep the soil consistently moist and it's better if you don't let the top soil dry out in between watering. Having said that, the drop variety needs less frequent watering. It's because they grow slowly. One simple rule to follow, fast growing plants always have more water requirements. Last important note, see Ixora needs acidic soil and if the soil is not acidic enough, we can see iron deficiency on our plants. The leaves on the plant turn to light green as we can see here. I have also seen that these symptoms is quite common especially on the yellow Ixora plant. To make the soil acidic enough, we can use aluminium sulphate. The dose is half teaspoon in 1 liter water and we can apply once in 3 to 4 months. Instead of this, you can also use alum or fitkiri. Similar to Exora, Bougainvillea is also a great and permanent flowering plant. If you want to know how to get a huge Bougainvillea plant so that you get lots of flowers, please check out my next video. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please don't forget to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you very much for watching, take care and see you very soon.